From the Statue of Liberty to the Empire State Building, these are the top 10 places that you can't miss out on when you visit New York City. The Empire State Building. It just wouldn't be right to go to the Empire State and not check out the Empire State Building. The 102-story Manhattan skyscraper dates back to 1928, whenever it was first constructed in a race to build the tallest building in the world. Now, if you're not a fraidy cat where heights are concerned, then you can catch a breathtaking 360-degree bird's-eye view of the cityscape from the observatory, which is nested on the 86th floor, or elevate your experience even higher with an 80-mile panoramic view from the 102nd floor. You can even take the 90 in 90 tour, where you get 90 minutes of the city's history in 90 minutes. A special sunrise experience is a real wake up, bringing all new meaning to the greeting top of the morning to you. A perk with this package is that you'll get to welcome the dawning of a new day from the 86th floor observation deck, which overlooks the city that never sleeps, while sipping on complimentary cups of Starbucks coffee, talls of course, the Statue of Liberty. To add to your heaping helping of history, be sure to take the liberty to see the Statue of Liberty. It is located on the Liberty Island in the New York Harbor, so you will have to take a ferry, or maybe be a really good swimmer, in order to get there. Lady Liberty was given to the U.S. by France on July 4th, 1884, and towers over 305 feet tall, weighing in at 225 tons. Just a heads up. You can actually climb the spiral staircase all the way to her crown, or if you're not up for the 354-step trek, then you can just take the elevator to the top of the pedestal. Along with that, there's also the Ellis Island Immigration Museum included in the experience, so that way you can be welcome to stop in and check out photos, heirlooms, and sift through many historic records of the various American people who came through the process. The Brooklyn Bridge. Jump on over to the Brooklyn Bridge, though not literally, please. The iconic cable-stayed suspension bridge is a mile long. It was built in 1883. It spans the East River between both Brooklyn and Manhattan Island on Long Island. You can either drive, bike, or walk across. Now, if you're leery of the bridge breaking, think of how P.T. Barnum or Barnum & Bailey Circus felt whenever he led 21 of his elephants across it in one year after it opened. But millions of people have gone over it since, and so far so good. If you decide to walk, then you need to plan on taking about an hour to allow for pictures and pit stops. The locals have been known to do it for 30 minutes, though. 20 if they're in a real hurry, which they almost always are. Brooklyn Bridge Park is next to the bridge, with 85 acres of fun things to do, including over a mile of waterfront with six piers to pier the bridge from. Central Park. The pace of the Big Apple can be exhausting, and with 8.79 million residents, not to mention the tourists, it can get awful, mmm, peopley. So, when you're fed up with the hustle and bustle, then head on over to Central Park, with over 843 acres of green space oasis where you can kick back, relax, chill, and just take a break. In fact, the Peace Garden at Strawberry Fields is dedicated to nothing but silence. When you're rested up, you can go monkey around at the Central Park Zoo, glide on over to one of the skating rinks, or explore Belgrave Castle and some of the secret places in the park. You can always catch a concert or check out one of the many events. At the far end shore of the lake, dining at the Loeb Both House Restaurant is always a splash. One World Observatory. The One World Observatory is yet another great way to see the city. The three-story lookout is located at the top of the One World Trade Center, which is the Western Hemisphere's tallest building. Also called Freedom Tower, the building stands 1776 feet tall in honor of the year that the Declaration of Independence was signed. The journey to the observatory is lightning quick, and that's thanks to the Skypod. The Skypod is the fastest elevator in North America and the smartest too. It is equipped with LED screens that walk you through 300 years of New York City history on your 102 story up to the top. Besides the observatory, brave souls can even step out onto the sky portal, which is a 14 foot wide circle of glass where you'll have the entire city at your feet. Once you're back down to the lower level, you'll be able to visit Ground Zero Museum and a memorial that honored lives lost on 9-11. Times Square. From New Year's Eve's dropping of the ball to the Good Morning America studio, 
studio, there's always something pumping in Times Square because, after all, it is the heart of New York City. The Times Square beat stretches five blocks with endless entertainment, from Ripley's Believe It or Not to many restaurants and the M&M's Museum. It's hard to hold a candle to Madame Tussauds Wax Museum, which is a real hot spot that is also the largest wax exhibit in the world. If you would also like a good brew or booze, you'll have to head into the clouds, literally. Rooftop bars are a big thing in Times Square, and of course, there's plenty of tasty food carts to grab a bite to eat. If you're feeling fancy, you can even sit down for a gourmet meal at the Pure Thai Cookhouse, Becco, New York, or Mastro's Steakhouse. The ride. If you are on board for seeing it all, you can do exactly that when you jump aboard the ride. In a matter of 90 minutes, this jaw-dropping ultra-modern tour in a bus with floor-to-ceiling windows unfolds New York City's biggest attractions right before your eyes. You can see Radio City Music Hall, Central Park, the Empire State Building, Fifth Avenue, Rockefeller Center, and so much more. And it's all done with state-of-the-art audio and visual enhancements from 40 televisions and surround sound. Stadium seating ensures that you won't miss out on any of the entertainment provided by the comedians and performers, which will be riding the ride along with you. Broadway. Whenever visiting New York City, nothing gets the show on the road like Broadway. It demands center stage. And there are 41 Broadway theaters currently in operation, and every single one has seating for 500 or more. Whether you're into cabarets, classical plays, or just like to jam to rock musicals, you can have it your way on Broadway. There's always something for everyone on the playbill. And aside from the endless shows on the Broadway Theater District, you'll even find a crazy crowd of costume characters that will make a scene of their own amid historic movie theaters, shopping, and a long lineup of restaurants and bars. A VIP ticket will actually get you the best seats at the hit musical of your choice, a fabulous pre-show dinner with two starring cast members of the show that you're seeing, plus a backstage pass. The American Museum of Natural History. Founded in 1869, you might say that the American Museum of Natural History is the newest old thing in New York City due to the fact that although it's home to some very ancient artifacts, it is consistently making great strides forward in both tech and research. There are 45 permanent exhibition halls, including a far-out planetarium and Earth and Space Center. Over 200 scientists cover five active research divisions, so as to bring you 33 million of the coolest specimens and artifacts in the world. There's dinosaurs skeletons, a 94-foot, 21,000-pound great blue whale, and Lucy, the human remains of a woman that is over 3 million years old. A giant screen film brings science to life like you've never seen before. This brilliant museum is one of the largest in the world and is the only American museum that grants a PhD and Master's of Arts in teaching the skyscape. Escape to Skyscape, which is an interactive espionage museum. At the top secret spy headquarters, you'll hear stories about famous spies and be able to snoop a world-class collection of surveillance devices, stealthy spy cams, original Enigma machines, a baseball grenade, and just about any other spy gadget that you could even think of. The Deception Zone is not to be ignored, revealing how deception surrounds us all, but to tell you the truth, it's the interactive high-tech lie detector machine that will honestly get you. Test your sleuth skills when you take a course in psychology, a class developed by a former head of training at British Intelligence. Don't forget to dress in your best spy gear and sneak on over to get a peek at Spyflex, an assortment of some of the best films and television shows which are dedicated to secrets and secret agents, from Batman to James Bond, Sherlock Holmes, and even Harry Potter.